beautiful. This is my life. to show you my quick face um, I'm not a makeup pro at all and I actually drool over some of the makeup um, tutorials that I see here on YouTube but I am NOT advanced by any means I've honestly have been wearing the same face or the same makeup look and technique for I would say a decade now and I'm so ready to try to change it up and do some different things so I'll talk more about that later but for right now let's get started I always start off with my eyebrows as you can see they're super sparse and they grow kind of like um, they grow in pretty one direction so I'm grateful for that but they grow very sporadically they are thin and the funniest thing is they're literally most times or most of my eyebrows are the exact same color of my skin so there is more than you even can see here but um, they're the exact same color as my skin so it's so hard to actually detect but once I start putting makeup on it all of a sudden it pops out and it really blends in and create this really nice dewy effect which I, I actually appreciate and really love God knows I'm a minimalist in real life so giving me minimal eyebrows I think was in my favor but sometimes I feel like it's such a struggle real struggle so I kind of like to brush them out first and getting them in a really nice um, I guess direction and I just go in with um, this is a wet and wild pencil and I go and I start to draw that line out kind of have the setup of my face already so I've been doing it for so long so I have a better understanding of how things flow okay cool so brows are that feels good okay so a little face moisturizer on I use my own um, little oil blend of um, an oil of oil and a few essential oils. I like putting my oil on after I do my brows because because my brows are so thin, I don't want any kind of um, build up on them to kind of not allow the pencil to stick and stay and have that loss long lasting wear as I would like. Do a little lymphatic drainage every time I put my face moisturizer on. If you want more information about lymphatic drainage or videos on lymphatic drainage, I would love to. So please comment below and whilst you're at it, might as well subscribe and like or love and all that fun stuff. So I would love to have you. Awesome. So I just went ahead and put on a bit of my um, Avon Magic Prime. I really, really like this a lot. If you have a different brand that you think it's better or that you like more, please comment below. I always like finding out new things because if you're new to my channel, I'm a minimalist. I don't buy a lot of things and I don't tend to keep a lot of unnecessary things. Um, and so I tend to find something I love, stick with it until maybe I find something else and move on or stick to it. I tend to be super loyal, so this is like my third, fourth container of this. Don't see myself changing unless you tell me something otherwise that I must try. Okay, so face is ready prime, watch. This stuff, oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is a color corrector. It does, I don't think it matters what kind of color corrector you have. This one I got at a beauty supply store. It's by Kiss. 
I love it. So I just went ahead and just threw it on little areas where I feel like I have the most darkness. And so I just go in with my little brush. I love this brush. I got it from Sephora. And I kind of like dabble and help to create that color correction that I'm going for. I go all down. And then usually during my menstrual and hormonal days, I tend to break out along my chin. So this area always tend to keep little dark marks that I really, really am working hard to get rid of. This NARS concealer, I love it so much. If you're not into NARS, please get into it. They are lovely. They're so lovely. And the, um, the actual um, formula is just, it works so well for me. So if you're looking for a new concealer, you don't really know what brand to go with. NARS or even Anastasia. Am I pronouncing that right? That is also a good brand. Anastasia. I know, I don't think it's Anastasia. I think it's Anastasia. And I continue to work out with my fingers. I also, oh! <laughs> I also like to throw a bit on my brows just to give it a fresh, clean feel. Awesome. And so once I'm done there, this BB cream is really dope because it's not like the BB creams that I um, see people talk about on, uh, what do you call this, YouTube? It's actually, um, what is this? It's called a matte finish high coverage, controls shine and oil all day. I must say it really does do that. I like to use it for these little areas here. I put it around the circumference just to give more of like a nice little matte finish. I do it around my nose. I just blend it with my fingers all up. And then I pop some of also by Kiss. So it's a trend here. And this is all by convenience. I like to put it underneath my eyes, on my cheekbones here. This is um, Cafe Carmel, and this is their No Blemish. This is from a beauty supply store. I got this several years ago, fell in love with it, and I just keep it no matter, I don't care what brand, other brand I use. This right here, always a go-to. Then before I put on my my setting powder, which is just a darker color that I like to wipe all over. I go ahead and put on some of this Small by Smolder cosmetic. This is just like um, beautiful pigments, and I wipe a little on my my hand on my wrist there, and then I take my blush brush or my blend brush, and I like to just go these areas along my cheekbones highlighting a little bit giving that nice little color also on my temples because it's minerals it just blends in so well awesome so then I'll go ahead and take that what do you call it this really cool Chestnut, ooh, from the same brand, no, um, no blemishes by Kiss. And I just wipe that all over from uh, just a brown pencil, a brown uh, liner. I like to just go into the corners of my eyes. Just give a little definition there. See as how I don't put any um, mascara underneath, and I am wearing falsies, so. I tend to stay away from mascara if unnecessary. Perfect. So I'm putting on this, um, what is it called? It is called Famous from um, Huda Beauty. I really love it. I'm using it um, 
as small as a liner and then I have another red color I want to fill in with it. So I'm just going to take it along the perimeter and not fill in too much in the middle as I will be filling in with that other color. It feels about right. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and take this other red I got from so Wet and Wild and fill in. Awesome. Just gonna take this, wipe up a bit. And there you have it. I'm not a professional, like I said, and this is a standard face of mine. The fact that I have one red lipstick is like, psh, she's going somewhere <laughs> fancy. Because usually I tend to wear like a pink or something more of a neutral color. And so wearing this color is just like vibrant and makes me feel like I got somewhere to go and I, I got somewhere to be, but not like that. We're literally in the Coronas right now. Um, so what I would love to do is do a series on, you know, showing you what I have learned in regards to taking my makeup um, journey to the next level. This is, will not turn into a makeup channel by any means because I'm not, um, I'm just not that, that person and I don't have enough love for makeup to be consistent with just that um, but this is going to be a self-care little segment to where i'm showing you how i'm trying to level up with my makeup game and so if i can inspire you to do the same or tips or new tricks or ideas i would absolutely love to be able to do that so thank you so much for just watching me do my little face here. But one day I would love, love to have a makeup artist just like beat my face in. Yeah, I, I wanna be beaten <laughs> so badly. <laughs> so one day, hopefully we can get make that happen and that'll be a part of the segment so that I can really feel like I've transformed because besides a, a cute new color of lipstick, I really am not, been a part of that whole transformation era and I would love love to have that opportunity anyway it was so wonderful hanging with you I hope you have a beautiful day please go ahead and like comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon